Hey guys, welcome to SC Custom Designs. It is Tuesday, quarter of eight Eastern Standard Time. And I want to welcome you to my wood shop where we make wonderful little treasures like this. This is uh, new to our collection. And what is this? Hopefully the mug gives it away. These can be one of many things, one of which we made for our customer, new customer. Uh, welcome, uh, Albergo. A bed and breakfast down in Wyndham, New York. Uh, they placed an order for 10 of these. Uh, and uh, essentially their units are like this. Uh, the, while this is just rounded over, essentially this is it. Uh, they wanted something for their, for their uh, guests to put their tea or coffee and a biscuit into. And so they're, they're here in the, uh, waiting for them to be picked up. And so thank you once again. Uh, honorable mention out to Albergo, Wyndham, New York. Please stay at their bed and breakfast. You will not want to leave. Uh, they take such good care of you. So it, at any rate, what we're talking about now, this is a new series. It's, it's actually finished, and but we're going to move on with these units, and we'll make them different shapes and uh, sizes, actually. So uh, these are the same exact box, mind you. When you move them apart, somehow there's an illusion that it's uh, perhaps longer, uh, so on and so forth. So, uh, what this is all about, the continuation uh, in this series is, uh, you can see here that this is a butt joint, okay? Um, butt joints here. What I want to do is make uh, angled dovetail joints. And so, uh, if you're new to my channel, um, then um, please look up episodes that we've done on the Lee D4R Pro Dovetail Jig, which is over there. And that's what we're using. Um, so I've got several videos using the Lee D4 Pro, and I'm actually still learning as I go through. Uh, what Lee wants you to do is to start off uh, with the simple through dovetails. Simple through dovetails. Uh, I can show you maybe I got a box down here. Um, I have through pins uh, that I made and uh, um, fortunately and unfortunately they're they're all they've either been sold or they're upstairs. My wife tends to snatch these things up <laughs> and she's more than welcome to. At any rate, so uh, they, they have you start off making this. Then uh, so I decided, man, I'd like to go to the next level. So what a tease. I got down here and I see this. To form angled dovetails, refer to the technical bulletin, um, how to route through dovetails on your jig. You can download this bulletin from the support page of our website. And they give you the link right here. Voila, I have done such a thing. I downloaded that. So I, you, you know how to route angle through dovetails on your jig. And there's three different styles that they talk about. I'm starting with the, sim the simple one. They recommend that you start here uh, before you get here. Uh, um, at face value, you may not see the difference right away. But this uh, is, is, is uh, basically a 90 degree piece of board, while this, this here is cut out at an angle. So this is your cradle. Uh, so we're, we're actually that's what we're working on here. So I've already jumped ahead and I started uh, yesterday. It was the last day of my vacation and I went ahead and I did the pens. Now, typically you're not doing the pens first, at least with the first simple uh, unit. You're actually doing the tails first. Uh, sorry, the pens, as I said, <laughs> caught myself there. So these are pens here that you can see here the pins will receive the tails and the tails are going to go on the cradle so this is the front of the unit here okay so that's kind of like what you're looking at uh here all right so we went ahead yesterday and we uh we made our tails and now we're moving on to 1.7 uh, and 8 where you basically uh while the the piece that you routed out for the pins okay is still in your lead d4 they want you to just put one line in the middle uh, of the the uh, of the uh, pen okay then you 
you you route both all four sides out, you take them out, then you set the end cradle part on top, and then you're going to, uh, hopefully you can see it, uh, put a line in the, just in the middle of each pen, okay? Um, and now the next step is going to be uh, to go ahead and place uh, the end piece, the cradle piece, into the dovetail jig. I won't be videoing that. This is actually my first time through. Uh, so in order to save time and not fumble my way through, I thought I would at least maybe stay one step ahead. And in the future, perhaps we'll do, and you know I will, we'll do from the, the, the start and we'll let you see what we're doing, okay? But, um, so yeah, this is me wanting to learn how to uh, make angled dovetails. See, my units uh, represent um, the cradles, sort of, okay? So we have this piece that's angled out this way, okay? And this would be your 90 degree here. Um, so he's, he's angled out this way, actually, and this way. So we're going to go ahead and complete this. We'll call this part one here in SC Custom Designs. Hey, and if you like what you're seeing, um, please subscribe to our channel. I want to welcome our newest subscriber from Zhongguo. I believe it's China. So I took a chance and said Zhongguo. This stands for Middle Kingdom. And welcome, Chinese uh, subscriber. Uh, we hope that you'll enjoy the 400 plus videos that we have at this point. And uh, we're going to make many, many more. And so if you just uh, see tools in my shop, then you, you will probably have a review on the tool. I'm just learning how to use this guy here. We've used him uh, to plane actually this board here. This was cut out of a a 1 by 12 piece of pine, okay, and they want you to make, uh, they're very specific, uh, rip 1 by 6, so I went ahead and just fed this whole thing before I cut it up, and that was my lesson learned, um, do that at the beginning, and then cut your pieces out, um, so if you have seen uh, the previous, I fed this piece through, no problem, fed this piece through, horrible snipe, and that's when you get a, 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 a a little valley it basically the the rollers inside the machine eat into the piece and that can be avoided uh, my UK friend told me hey go ahead and use some double-sided tape and uh, tape it down so that was a great suggestion um, so I was just in the moment and excited and I jumped the gun and uh, and my videos um, are not rehearsed I just go ahead at some point get a certain progress and then I just start uh, I press the play button the record button so it's the real life this is probably what's happening in your shop um, and so I let you see that uh, again I apologize if you're watching this on TV now I make it a habit of trying to watch videos along the journey on the TV 2017 is behind us we did a, our very first uh, market uh, down in Woodstock New York and here's our lovely tent my wife made it look so beautiful and you can see some of my units here. Uh, this is the, the beer caddy. Then you have the pop and drops to open up your, your bottles and um, your favorite beverage. And then the utility unit here. And inside is all kinds of stuff my wife makes. Um, that was Mowers Flea Market 2017. 2018, we've got two booked events. One is the Carrot Festival, October 7th. Um, for 40 years, they've been doing this. It's going to be a special anniversary event for them. Um, and then the Maybe House uh, in Rotterdam Junction, look that up. The Maybe Farm, August 25th. Who and my children were born there. And upon closer inspection, you can see they're trying to get away. They, they time traveled and they're going around the corner here in front of the, uh, the, that part of the, the building there. And here, here's our, our uh, generation here. So at any rate, yeah, two shows we got going on. Uh, we're trying to get into a third show for 2018. And mind you, that means I have to be really, really busy. So the new two new items I've added to uh, the, the wood shop for sale are these guys here. 
Okay, so, oh man, I don't know why it does that. All of a sudden it got really white. Sorry about that. Let's try to get that back um, from doing it. There it goes. Don't understand why the, the, and the upgrade to my camera just does weird things. Okay, so we've added this. So those are going to be the, 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 the tray tea and biscuit units. We don't have a name for it yet. And we have the, uh, very, we're going to have various size uh, nested trays. All right, and what are nested trays is basically taking a block that was inside of uh, any one of these uh, bandsaw boxes you see lined up in the back there, and from that wasted chunk that came out of the middle of the drawer, okay, uh, came this, these guys here, and you just keep cutting them and cutting them and cutting them until you get all these trays. Isn't that cool, my friends? So otherwise, that wood would have been thrown away well i went ahead and i stockpiled them in a bag over here under the the uh cupboards over there so all right let's go ahead and end again if you like what you're seeing please subscribe to our channel and join the uh, we have 224 uh who's going to be the 225th we got to keep on uh, building up our subscriber base and hopefully you're being entertained hopefully you're being educated uh i feel sometimes i let my my subscribers down because uh, they'll see just one or two videos and they'll think, boy, that he could have did a better job. Not well, true, but I build on the videos, my friends. And um, I'm not an expert at all my tools just yet, right? Um, I, I mean, so an example would be the, the bandsaw. I just got this guy in 2017 and I'm learning as I go. And I tell you, I use it more and more and more. And I look for the videos where we talk about uh, anything you see on it, like the fast system. And the Carter Mag Fence 2, which is hiding somewhere uh, over here. Okay, um, so just uh, just know that it's an ongoing process. Leave your comments, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you give me a thumbs down, tell me why, and we'll try to learn from that and improve. Thanks everybody for coming into my shop. Again, this is uh, uh, series one. This is uh, for making the angled dovetails thanks take care look forward to the next video we do at least one video a week uh, and post them out there and have lots of fun bye bye now